All right, so now that we have the incisal edge prepared, and again, I like it just a flat preparation, flat shoulder, no chamfer. Now we can do our facial depth cuts. Now for an ideal veneer, I want about three tenths of a millimeter at the gingival portion of the facial, but closer to a half a millimeter, 0.5 up to 0 0.6, 0 0.7 through the mid facial and the incisal facial where there's more enamel thickness. Really the issue is that we wanna try and stay in enamel if possible, and so that's why we're gonna have less preparation down at the cervical third. Now this wheel burr is great, though when you look at the, from the shank to the edge of the wheel, it's nearly about 0.6 millimeters. So if you drop your burr all the way down into the, uh, into the cervical portion, you may be a little bit overreduced using the cervical burr. So you have to be very careful not to drop it all the way down um, so that the shank is hitting the tooth, otherwise you're gonna be a little over, over reduced. What you might find is you may have to extend the burr out a bit so that you can get the burr along the tooth um, with, without the handpiece bumping into the tooth. So in my case, I've had to extend the burr, which I often find I have to do in the mouth as well, so that I can get this, uh, this wheel portion onto the cervical portion of the tooth. So with this 828 burr, I'm gonna do a series of three depth cuts horizontally along the tooth. The first will be in the cervical third, the second will be in the middle third, and the third will be towards the incisal third. Understand that we've already removed about a millimeter and a half off the incisal edge. Now that cervical uh, depth group, I wanna leave it a little bit above, maybe a millimeter, above the final margin or maybe a half millimeter above the final margin. Um, so I'm gonna do a horizontal depth groove there first. Again, with this burr, trying not to drop it fully down deep into the full uh, depth of the, the wheel. All right, so you can see my initial burr cut. You can see there's a little dark area, still some of the Sharpies below showing I hadn't gone all the way down to the gingival margin. That's where I'm gonna be doing my final preparation down there. Then I'm gonna continue on with two more horizontal preparations. First in the middle third, creating my depth cut. And with this depth cut, I do want it to be very close to the shank because I wanna get about 5 tenths of a millimeter reduction. And then I'm gonna do the last burr cut along the incisal third, again, dropping that down close to the shank so that I get half a millimeter, 0 0.5 to 0 0.6 millimeter of preparation to give my technician adequate amount of space for the veneer preparation. So now that I have my three depth cuts, I want you to take a look at how the burr follows the angulation of the tooth. So remember, we need the three planes of reduction. And so at the cervical, we're going to have, the burr is going to have, it's not going to be, it's not going to be as deep, right? We only want to be about three tenths of a millimeter. And then it's going to be, change the angulation as I go through the mid body and then change the angulation again as I go towards the incisal third. So following the three planes of the tooth, we're going to be changing the angle of our handpiece as we, as we change the horizontal depth cuts.